What's up guys? It's me, Noel Obamer. Uh, today we are going to be continuing our Kingdom Hearts 30 Day Challenge. Now, if, you're been, if you've been wondering, well, we haven't seen your videos for the 30 Day Challenge for, uh, for a while now. It's because I posted on my community tab that I'm going to discontinue making the videos uh, for the Kingdom Hearts 30 Day Challenge in favor of doing it in the community post because it just takes too much time because i have some other videos and other stuff planned so it, it just it just takes away time um but i said that when we are 15 days away there will be a video for this coming out and so here is the exception to this day 15 is my story on how i got into kingdom hearts so kingdom hearts came out in 2002 i was four years old and when it came out, honestly, I didn't even realize it because I was just a little kid, uh, basically spent my time watching uh, Disney Channel uh, or Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. Honestly, I just played whatever games uh, my dad bought me. And however, one day my older cousin Monica went to, I believe, Target with her dad, my uncle and saw Kingdom Hearts on the gaming shelf. Now, she had a PlayStation 2 at home and she picked it up because she saw that it was a Disney game and thought it would be a whole lot of fun. Now, when she picked it up, of course, her little brother, my other older cousin, will name him Joseph. Um, he also had his own PlayStation 2, and he saw how much fun Kingdom Hearts was, so he ended up telling my older brother about this, and then eventually it got to me. And then, at one point, we would just spend our weekends in one room playing Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation. Now, we all fell in love with Kingdom Hearts. I personally was mainly attracted to play Kingdom Hearts because of Halloween Town. When I saw the Halloween Town costume as a kid, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So, yeah. So then eventually I ended up just playing it for myself. Uh, I ended up really liking the game. Uh, but then after that, uh, I didn't know if there were going to be any other Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, and then. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories came out in 2004 and knowing that it was another Kingdom Hearts game and a continuation to the story I was excited to play this even if it was on Game Boy so I remember as a kid in my room with my brother and the commercial to the original Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories game on Game Boy came up and we were like Mom, let's get this! Eventually, uh, we did pick up the game, and I pretty much played it for my entire summer. The next summer I had, I pretty much played it the whole time. Um, after beating Chain of Memories, I wasn't... I, I, I was interested in where the story was going, because at that point I really was actually paying attention to the story. Uh, there was there were some things I couldn't quite fully grasp, um, but I did understand the general uh, situation in Kingdom Hearts One and Chain of Memory. So I was actually one of those people that actually played Chain of Memories before playing Kingdom Hearts Two. Uh, and then 2006 rolls around, and we head over to, and me and my brother head over to my cousins Monica and Joseph's house and we realize that Kingdom Hearts 2 is now out they were they had actually just started up the game and the furthest we went to because my cousin Joseph was like well let, let's just stop now and play another game because we don't want to spoil it for uh for you know me and my brother so um the furthest he got to with uh, with Kingdom Hearts 2 was the oh. 
was the Twilight Thorn battle. After he finished that, I, I, don't, I don't remember anything else after that. So I think that's when he sort of stopped it. Um, so, of course, we picked up Kingdom Hearts 2. And I fell in love with it. And after beating Kingdom Hearts 2, you know, I was like, okay, now I am with this series 100%. I will, I will play any game for the series that comes out, and I will stick with this series to the ends of the earth. Partially regretting that decision. Um... So, yeah, that's basically how I got into uh, Kingdom Hearts. You know, basically after that, you know, whenever there was a Kingdom Hearts game coming out, I was super hyped for it, and I got it as soon as I could. 358, uh, I remember I realized to, uh, that day was the release date, and I head headed over to GameStop, got the game. Uh, same with Birth by Sleep, uh, recoded, and then uh, Dream Up Distance, I was actually paying attention to all of the trailers and pretty much what I do now with Kingdom Hearts 3. That was when I actually initially started doing that for Dream Up Distance. And then that's when I really started getting into Kingdom Hearts YouTubing. And you guys pretty much know the rest of the story then. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into uh, Kingdom Hearts. I've been meaning to tell the story uh, in full detail for a while now. But, um, I never had the chance to, but now I do. Uh, to celebrate us being only 15, 15 days away from Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know how you guys got into Kingdom Hearts in the uh, comment section below. Uh, hope you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitter and my Twitch. This has been Royal Low Bomber, and I'm out. Oh, <laughs> oh,